Hi guys! So it's the end of April, which is weird because the month went by so fast and I'm not really sure why. It might have had something to do with the fact that for most of the month I was frantically studying for exams and that made the time pass really quickly, so... But anyway, as it's the end of April, I figured I would finally do my wrap-up and favorites for April. If you don't know, I did this last month. I talk about my book and reading wrap-up and then also talk about my favorites and just kind of combine those two things into one video. My channel's such a mess. Like, I talk about book stuff all the time, but then I also do a bunch of other stuff because I don't want to, like, just pigeonhole myself into one genre. Just because I like so many things and I want to talk about so many different kinds of things, I don't want to just, like, be stuck in one thing. You know? I don't know. Anyway, enough rambling, I'm just going to talk about the books that I read this month. The first book that I read this month is The Scourge by Jennifer Nielsen. This is a book about uh, this world where people are divided by the river people, who kind of are like the more living off the land country type people, and then there's the people who live in town, who I, th I don't remember if they have a name. And anyway, there's this disease going around called The Scourge, and if someone contracts this disease, they get sent off to an island um, where they live out the last of their days. So anyway, the main character in this book gets sent to this island, and then she finds out a whole bunch of stuff about it, and everything is not what it seems. This book is actually pretty good. I'm a really big fan of Jennifer Nielsen's work after reading uh, The Ascendance Trilogy, which I think is still one of the best series I've ever read. It's so good. Anyway, I just really enjoyed this book, and I rated it 4 stars out of 5 on Goodreads. And the next two books I read were the books that I read for the Tome Topple Readathon, um, and these were the two books that I was trying to get finished. I did finish them, but half an hour after the deadline of when I was supposed to be finished. But I still count that as a success because I did get them finished. Anyway, the first book was The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. I just did a whole review on this book, so I'll link it down below. You can check it out. There's not much I can say about this book without spoiling it, and I went into this book really not knowing anything about it, um, which I think is the best way to go in, so I'm not gonna really, like, summarize it. Because even the back little blurb on the back cover really doesn't tell you anything. Anyway, I really love this book. I rated it 4.5 out of 5 stars. <laughs> Why is it so hard for me to say that? And I really look forward to reading the next books in the series. And then the next book I read is actually a graphic novel and it's Blankets by Craig Thompson. This is just like such a huge graphic novel. It's basically, I didn't know this going into it, but it's basically an autobiographical um, graphic novel. <laughs> it's the author talking about his life and his upbringing. I rated this book 3 out of 5 stars. Um, I liked it. The, I mean the art was absolutely beautiful. Like, like, I mean just look at it, it's gorgeous. But um, the story didn't really do it for me. I don't know, I just, yeah, I mean, I love the art, that's basically what most of my stars were for. The story was fine, I mean, I can't really criticize the story for any reason because it's literally his life. Um, it just wasn't, like, super interesting for me, I don't know, it was just, like, it was a good book. I would recommend that people read this, but it wasn't my favorite thing that I read this month, but it was good. That seems like a very contradictory kind of review, but, like, I don't know. And then the next two books are books that I'm actually technically still reading. So I can't really give them ratings yet, but I will just talk about the books that I'm still reading. So the one book I'm reading is Lilac Girls by Martha Hall Kelly. And this is a book that takes place during World War II and like the Holocaust and everything. Which is a time in historical fiction that I tend to read a lot about because I find it really interesting for whatever reason. I have so many books on the Holocaust and like Holocaust, like um, concentration camp survivor stories and stuff. I got them when I was younger um, from like book fairs and stuff, so like I've always just found the topic interesting. Which might sound like a weird thing to say, but like... I like history, okay. And basically it's a story of three different women. One of them is a New York socialite who um, works at the French Embassy. The second is a Polish teenage girl. I think she's a teenager. Maybe she's 18 or something. I don't really know. And the third woman is a German doctor who becomes involved in kind of like the Nazi government system and that whole thing. So it's three very very different perspectives of the war and the Holocaust and what's going on. It's really interesting and it's just kind of how their stories intertwine because the teenage girl is sent to uh, Ravensbrück, which is a, or was a, concentration camp for women, which I didn't know about until I read this book. I'm a little more than halfway through it, so I can't really uh, give too much of an opinion yet, but I, I am really enjoying this so far. The other book that I am reading right now is also another graphic novel, and it's uh, this Archie comic. It's Archie Volume 1, The New Riverdale, I think it's called. And it's written by Mark Wade with illustrations by Fiona Staples, as well as two other artists, Annie Wu and Veronica Fish. I think the first three issues in here are done by Fiona Staples, and then the other two are by the other two authors, which is the one problem I'm having with it so far, because I, it's just weird that the art style changes. It's not like a huge drastic change, but it's just, I wish they would have kept the same artist for all of it, and so it would have felt more consistent. Basically, um, I love Archie comics a lot. Like, I grew up on these. Like, this was my childhood. Like, I was a huge fan, and I want to do a talk about Riverdale once this series is finished. Um, so maybe I'll talk about it more then. Because Riverdale has just... So, like, this is just basically, like, um, a different take on the Archie comics, and, like, the art style is different, obviously. And I actually like it. I think it's pretty good. I think it's well written so far. The characters aren't too different. I think I like it much more after watching Riverdale, because 
while the characters are a little bit different in this, it's still true to like what their character is in the original comics. Not like Riverdale, where they take the characters and just change them completely. Like Archie's still really likable in this, unlike Riverdale. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, I still prefer the original comics, obviously, but this isn't so bad so far. Um, I still have like a couple more issues to go, I think, in it, so yeah, again, can't rate it because I haven't finished it yet. But it's pretty good. If you're a fan of Archie Comics, I guess I would recommend it. But yeah, I think my favorite book that I read this month was definitely The Name of the Wind. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking about books now and just talk about the other things that I love this month. As far as, like, fashion stuff goes, I bought leggings this month. I know I'm really late to that party. Um, like, I'm walking down my university hallway and I'm just looking and, like, every single girl I pass is wearing leggings. Nothing wrong with it, because leggings are great. And they're not, like, spandex-type leggings, they're just, like, cotton ones that I got at Old Navy for five bucks. But they're so comfortable. I love them. I recommend leggings for everybody because they're so comfortable. As far as music goes, I finally downloaded um, Little Mix's new album, Glory Days, and it's so good. I mean, I've listened to it on Spotify before, but I hadn't actually, like, had it on my phone, so I couldn't listen to it a lot and form opinions on a lot of the songs. I was a little unsure of the album at first when I first listened to it because it had a very different sound from the earlier albums. Not a very different, just a little slightly different sound, maybe. I don't know. But I, I love it now. My favorite songs are F.U., Oops, Power, and No More Sad Songs. Uh, although I think all the songs on this album are great, so... I just love Little Mix and I wish more people loved them as much as I do. Sorry my camera died so I had to charge the battery so the angle's different. Sorry. The new thing I want to add for this favorites video is YouTubers that I've been watching a lot recently. Either new ones that I've just discovered or old ones that I've been watching for a while that I've just been watching a lot of this month. And since it's April a lot of YouTubers were doing Vita, a uh, video every day in April, so there's a lot. I was watching a lot of YouTube this uh, month. In particular I was watching a lot of Lucy Moon's videos. Um, she did Vita. And I knew who she was for the longest time, but I hadn't, because I'd like followed a lot of other YouTubers that were in her friend group, but I'd never actually like subscribed to her. So I did that recently, and like I love her videos so much. They're just like very calming and like chill, and like just the aesthetic of like her entire like room and background, and like just I don't know. Her videos are just so chill and like relaxed. Like, I just love her videos. Another YouTuber that did Vita this month that I am really enjoying is Daniel J. Layton, who I also recently just subscribed to after knowing who he was for a long time. Um, he's really funny. He makes a lot of like really kind of like insightful videos. Um, his Baking with Layton series is great and I love it. I just love watching baking videos. So yeah, those are two people that if you haven't subscribed to them, I definitely recommend because they're both really great. And just for general life things that I've been loving, I've been doing a lot of yoga this month. Just because I don't like doing like a lot of exercise. <laughs> but yoga's fun. It makes me feel more flexible. I think since I've started doing it, I have become a little bit more flexible. Like I'm not like an expert or anything. I'm just doing like really basic yoga poses, but it does make me feel good after I do it. So if you're not super in, if you don't have time or like you're not super into exercising, I would definitely recommend doing yoga because it's fun. Like I'm not doing it at a class or anything because I can't afford that. I'm just like looking at poses online. <laughs> anyway, I have to rush off to work soon, so that's why I'm kind of like just trying to rush to get this finished. So that's all my favorites and all the books that I read this month. Let me know down in the comments what you read this month, what things you've been loving, or if you love any of the same things that I like. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you some other time with another video. Bye!